Handymark has embraced the arts-themed 2023-2024 robotics season, first in show. Come along with us as we share some of our own creations. Welcome to the Andymark Arts Museum. Oh, wow, look at this piece, the texture. Hmm, isn't that a picture of this year's charge station from the game? Excuse me, sir, can you tell me more about this particular painting? Ah, yes. This is no ordinary creation. It's inspired by Swerve Drive specialty sword modules. Oh, interesting. The essence of this piece really serves as a reminder that Colson wheels are now an option on Swerve Drive modules. Well, what's a Colson wheel? This season, Animark is offering the official SDS Colson wheel. Choose this as an option when configuring your Swerve module or purchase the wheel separately to add to modules you already have. These work on both MK4 and MK4i modules. FRC teams have used Colson wheels for years and have really liked their smooth profile and the traction they provide. Plus, you won't have to worry about changing tread anymore. Interesting. Ooh, what lovely colors. Lovely indeed. These extrusions are featured in red, gold, green, blue, purple, black, and silver. They're as functional as they're stylish, shaped like a churro, but with a twist. A churro twist? Unlike our other churro, the light version is smaller, 3 8 hex diameter with a hole that can be used with a 1024 self-tapping screw. This makes it super easy to use on your FRC or FTC robots. Great for standoffs and short, light-duty shaft applications. Stylish and functional. With this extrusion, you can build not only a powerful robot, but one that's visually stunning and matches your team's unique aesthetic. Oh wow, a portrait painting. Is that you? Uh, it's a collar clamp earring. No, but the, the, the picture. No, an earring, yes. Um, it's really a reminder that there are new Andy Mark hardware bundles to help teams get the right parts for their robots. Ah, hardware, okay. Yeah, adding to the existing lineup of hardware kits, Andy Mark has the FRC bearing kit, a selection of some of the most common bearing sizes, and also the FRC collar clamp kit. Earring attachments are not included. Okay. Now behold, this masterpiece in our collection. It's an air tank. It's not just an air tank. This tank is truly a masterpiece with the capacity of over six regular air tanks at a fraction of the size, weight, and price. Teams will find it remarkably convenient as one large tank can replace the need for multiple storage tanks and a complex fitting system. So it's art. Imagine the efficiency and space savings that this large tank brings to your robot. Okay, so then this must be an air compressor. Absolutely not. It's not just an air compressor. It's art. This compressor is large in size and capacity. It has a 100% duty cycle and a high flow rate to ensure your pneumatic system is always up to pressure and ready to use. It perfectly complements the aluminum air tank. Okay. Art? Now this piece is very familiar. This is definitely a completely original piece of art. It includes the technological marvel, the ELP camera, featuring a fisheye lens. A camera? This is more than just a camera. I really like to think of it as a window. A window to the playing field. But the painting? The small form factor and fisheye lens on this camera make it the perfect companion for your robot, providing invaluable feedback to your drivers right on the dashboard. Okay, I see. Oh, Dolly's melting clocks. Very nice. It's surrealism. This piece is inspired by the distorted experience of a dreamlike state and the melting of Animark Polybelt products. Melting belts? Polybelt, yeah. Animark is selling Polybelt for this upcoming season. Teams have utilized Polybelt on their robots for years. One inch material can be used to make loops for intakes and conveyors. I was asking about the dreamlike thing. Also available are molded plastic crown rollers. These small rollers fit on half inch and 3 8 hex shaft, and the belting will self-center onto the roller when the shaft is powered. Oh, okay. One of the challenges with Polybelt is melting the ends together to connect the loops. We've tested out a few solutions and are also selling a clamp and hot knife to help ease the process and make it a consistent and repeatable process. That's where the melting comes in. Oh, 
I recognize this painting, but it's a little different. Oh, of course, yes. You must be referring to the stars in the night. Yeah, they're, they are different. They're new and different, compliant stars. Just like the swirling stars in the night sky, this product is a testament to creativity and boundless possibility. Wow, and in different colors too. And the star shape isn't just a design. It's the ideal choice for intakes for both FRC and FTC teams. The stars come in both half inch and three eighths inch hex bores, offering versatility for your creative designs. Hmm. Additionally, we've seen teams adapt and modify our compliant wheels. And now with the compliant star, we've made that process even simpler. Each star now includes notches, allowing you to easily cut down the spokes to a uniform shorter length, just like an artist crafting a masterpiece. That's a good idea. Oh, this is a nice contemporary piece. Really, it's a contemporary masterpiece. You look at it and feel the 12 volt LED light strip. It's not just a product, it's a work of art and illumination. Well, it's very colorful. They only partially capture the true spectrum of color these LED light strips are capable of. Okay. Operating at 12 volts, they're the epitome of ease, ensuring seamless integration into your robot's system. But what truly sets them apart is the easy to use connector we provide a quick and reliable way to connect and disconnect, allowing you to add LEDs for signaling or simply to make your robot look stunning. Well, they are beautiful. With the 12 volt LED light strip, you're not just illuminating your robot, you're illuminating your possibilities. Whether you want to create a visual spectacle, signal your robot's status, or simply stand out on the field, these LED light strips are your brush strokes of light. Oh, wow, is this a Pollock? Oh, no, no. The central focus of this piece is the snap latch. Are you allowed to touch that? Teams have used similar latches in the past. However, this one has been meticulously redesigned to meet the needs of robotics teams. I mean, artists. Oh, oh I see. Notice the hole spacing? It aligns perfectly with a one inch grid, allowing you to attach many parts you already know and use on your robots. The snap latch design ensures a secure connection, effortlessly bringing two pieces together in perfect harmony. Security! Oh, well, what's this painting about? Well, it, it depicts what the artist feels when they were creating such a, such a wonderful piece. Kind of looks like a blank canvas to me. Well, it's, it's, it's the game pieces and the objects on the field for this coming year's FRC competition, Crescendo. You're not going to tell me anything, are you? No. Nope. This tour of the Annie Mark Arts Museum was brought to you by Firsters Like You. For more information, visit www.andymark.com.